grandson to write thought. I'm going to be reading from the book of John, chapter 3. I'm going to start at verse 19. John, chapter 3, verse 19. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. So what is the condemnation? What's going to condemn people? That light entered into this world and they rejected it. Y'all see that? Now what is light? Light was truth. Light is life. You see? Truth and life. Condemnation is that light is coming to this world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. So why did they hate the light? Did they just hate the light for no reason? Nope, it says why. It says because their deeds were evil. So the things that men do are evil. And because they like to do that evil shit that they're doing, they hate the truth because the truth is the light that exposes what they're doing. And if you're the type of person who likes to disguise what you do, then how would you feel about the light? As I'm walking on this video, I'll enter into the light. It's easy to see my face. It's clear. But then if I walk over to this area, it becomes dark and obscure and you can't see my face as clear. So then it's obvious that light gives clarity to who you're dealing with. If I just walked around over here and you couldn't see me, you could hear my voice, but you wouldn't know for sure if it was me or not. Because there's not enough light for you to be able to tell. But if I step into the light to where you can see me clearly, now you know who you're dealing with and you know what you're dealing with. You see? Well, if your deeds are evil and you like to disguise them and hide them, then you're going to hate the light. Well, that's what he just said. And that's what condemnation is. That's how you get rejected. That's how you find yourself in what people call hell. Which is ignorance. Is that honestly what that means? All right. Continuing verse 20, he says, For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. You see how the word is confirming what you should already be knowing within yourself? Everyone who does evil hates the light. Neither comes to the light. So they don't come out here in the light where things can be shown for what they are. They like to hide in darkness. Don't you see it? He said, lest his deeds should be reproved, corrected. So if a person hates correction, can they come to the Father? Well, the scripture says that the Father whom he loved, he corrects or chastens often. And it says, hate not the chastening of Abba, for whom he loved, he chasteneth. So if you hate chastening or correction or to be reproved, then you will hate the light because it is the light that reproves us. People will hide in the darkness as long as the light doesn't expose them. Do you hear that? The people of this world have become so corrupt, perverted, profane, and disgusting that they will hide in the darkness until they are forced out by the light. They will not come out. It just said it to you. They don't come to it. They hate it. You see? So they have to be forced out. Thrust out. Isn't that what the scripture says? You see? For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in ill. So, those who love the truth come to the light. They search after it, coming toward it, so that they can be exposed for what they are. See, when you're not afraid of the truth, then you have no reason to hide in the darkness, do you? 
Now, why do you hide in the darkness? Well, obviously out of fear of being exposed. Well, are you perfectly loving if you have fear? Well, you can't be because the scripture says perfect love is what's going to push the fear out. Nothing else going to do it. Now, what is God? God is love. So if God is what pushes out your fears. But if you reject his chastening, if you run from his light, if you run from his truth, then how will you be healed? You won't be. You'll actually be condemned. And that's why he said, that's condemnation. It ain't nothing else. <laughs> it ain't nothing else. People trying to clean up their life and do be saved by works while saying they're not trying to be saved by works. Yes, you are. They're trying to impress men. To prove that you have made men your God, you hide what you do from them and you will lie to them to hide your fears. To be exposed from being exposed. You will hide it from men. If you weren't afraid of men, or in other words, you didn't worship men, then you wouldn't have any fear of men and you wouldn't lie to men. I hope y'all can hear this today. Hope you can hear what I'm saying to you. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light. Let's go back one verse. Everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light. Let's say that again. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light. So there's two different types of people out here, ain't it? Those who live in truth and those who live in lies. Now, this light... It says they come to the light, those who live in truth, correct? Okay, so let's get some insight into this light. Let's get some insight. John 1.1 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with El, and the Word was El, and the same was in the beginning with El. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. So do y'all hear that? How we were saying how those who live in darkness and hide in the darkness and, in other words, make lies their refuge as it is also written. It says that that light shined in the darkness, just like he said. Condemnation is that they rejected that light that came into the darkness and shined in it. You see? Like it's shining now. I am the light of the world. If I wasn't, then why would he tell me to let my light shine? <laughs> why would he tell me to do a thing that I am not capable of being or doing? Well, he says I can do all things. So then I believe that I can do all things through him which strengthens me. And he's the one who strengthened me to speak that way and to think that way and to feel the right way. Because I don't run from his truth when he told me who I truly was. I didn't fight against them and kick against the pricks as it says about Paul and Saul. Being one man but having to be born again. And washed clean of his iniquity. And refreshed and regenerated in the baptism and the regeneration through Christ. You see? Same thing here. It's no different. You have to be born again. So that you can be converted into that light that he shined. It will shine out through you and you will become that light. And you will be saying the same words Christ said. I am the light of the word, the world. I am the bread that come down from heaven. That if a man eateth of me, then he shall never hunger again. If he receive what I got for him. Because it's going to benefit him forever. It will not decay. This, this knowledge will not decay. The knowledge of who I am will not decay would not rust, would not be moth-eaten. It is everlasting. And he said, I'll give you everlasting life, so he didn't lie. He's already done it in me. Continuing. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. You see that? The, do the darkness comprehended it not. All right, what else do I want here? 
Verse 7, the same came for, uh, there was a man sent from El whose name was John, John the Baptist. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. You see, the light, the truth. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Truth. So when you seek truth, truth will come. That truth that will come to any man if he seek it is Christ. He is the light. He is the truth. And if he maketh his abode in you and you become one with him as he prayed that it would be so, then you will be saying the same words like I told you. Your light will be shining. It says he was not the light, but he came to bear witness of that light. Ten, he was in the world. The light was in the world. And the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. So now, does the world know the light? Well, I would have to lie and say that the world do know him. If I say the world do know him, I'd be lying, wouldn't I? Because the word just said the world don't know him. So then if I know him, then I'm a peculiar individual on the earth, aren't I? Just like he said, a peculiar nation of priests and kings. Priests walk through the veil. That's what they do. You understand what I'm saying? They walk through a veil of consciousness that's hidden to everybody else's minds. That's what makes them a priest. Everybody can go through the veil. But through Christ, who went through the veil once and for all, breaking that wall of partition that separated us from right thought consciousness, he broke it down so we could enter in, making us one. As he said, I'm going to prepare a place so I can be with y'all. You want to be there with me, where I am? All right. So he says... 14, and the word, same light, the word, same light, was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. There you have it. It's the truth, like I told you. Now, he gave you grace because when the truth comes, you don't die when it comes. Because you're supposed to die when truth comes, because you've been living in a lie. And according to the law, you die. So Christ had to come with truth and grace so he could say, okay, this is the reality of what you're doing. The wages of what you're doing is death. I come to deliver you from that to give you right thoughts so you can think and feel right. Because you're thinking, feeling wrong. Thus, your addiction. Thus, your evil thoughts. Thus, your maliciousness. Thus, your anger. Thus, your bitterness. Where else do you think that shit comes from? All right. For for the law, this is verse 17, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Yahusha. See, told you. So the, the law, you get shown to it, you say, oh, shit, man, I'm about to die because I didn't know that was. If I broke Shabbat, I should die for that. If I commit adultery, I'm supposed to die for that. There's all kinds of laws that if you read it, you say, damn, I'm supposed to die for that. It cost my life. Well, how come I'm not dead? Because grace, that's the only reason why. <laughs> That's the only reason why the truth came with grace. You see? All right. Let's see if there's anything else I want from here. And of verse 16, and of his fullness have all we received in grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Yahusha. No man hath seen ill at any time. The only begotten son, which is in the bosom of the father, he hath declared him. You see? So he came and gave us truth. Now everybody else on the earth that you read about that don't know the light, how can they know the father? If you just read that don't nobody know the father except for the son. And the son has to reveal the father because he's truth. I mean, I don't know if I'm just dealing with baby's kids here that ain't got no brains up in their noggins or what. Isn't it obvious what's being said here? There's only one way to the Father. Which way is that? 
through Christ, which is truth. Now, I'm trying to ask y'all, if you had to get to a destination, do you have to go the true way or do you, can you use a lying way and still get to the same def destination? When you click on your GPS to use it, do you follow it to get to your destination or do you do the opposite of what the hell it say and you still get there? So then you got to follow the way to get there. Well, that's the only way to the Father is Christ. That's the only way because it's the true way. It just is. It's just the way it is. <laughs> that Christ is the way to the Father. You can't get there no other kind of way. But we just read that the world rejects Christ. So then how in the hell do they know the Father? Or in other words, how do they know God? They don't. So then they're just lying, aren't they? Yes, they are. Why? Because few shall find it, the scripture says. Many there be it that, that go where? To the wide path that lead to destruction in that was written. It's a whole lot of people going that way. So if you were kind of a nigga that go with the crowd, if you one of them type of people that like to just be a follower, what that mean for you? That you following the devil and all his babies, them damn babies kids, that ain't got no damn sense, that ain't got no empathy in their hearts, that's cold hearted, that's always plotting, that always using somebody for material gain, that's always willing to kill, steal, destroy to get their way, who will lie and lie and lie even on their deathbed, they'll lie until they're dead. Dishonorable, moralless, lawless people who cannot keep the golden rules they cannot keep the golden commands to love your neighbor as yourself now is that what you see people doing in this world when they swindle each other are they doing the person the way they want to be done when they kill somebody is that treating the person the way you want to be done to you when they mutilize somebody when you're abusing somebody or molesting somebody is that what you want done to you so then why in the hell is y'all doing it because y'all lawless as fuck and y'all follow y'all damn Wicked ass, stinking ass daddy. That's why. That's why. And y'all think it's strange because y'all say, damn, why we can't demoralize this man from speaking the truth? He has no followers. He has no subscriptions. He's getting no kind of praise on his videos. He has nobody backing him. Nobody gives a damn. Nobody even cares about this guy. Why won't he stop? Because I realize that only a few of us are here. I'm not rebellious or stupid, nigga. <laughs> I'm not rebellious or stupid, ashamed or confounded. I am in right thought and in right feeling. There ain't but a few of us. Abba says when this world is destroyed, which is coming quick, by the way, if you can't feel it inside, that is coming quick. When this world is destroyed, he says, I'm going to take them two of a city, one of a family, two out of a family I'm going to take. You hear this shit or what? I've said this stuff before, but it's like you dumb robot niggas don't understand this shit. So don't understand it. He says you won't anyway. Ain't that what he's saying, Daniel? Seal up the books of this because uh, only the wise will understand. The foolish are going to go on being foolish. And what does it say in Revelation? Let the unclean remain unclean. He's going to be filthy. Well, let him stay damn filthy then. Because outside of those gates of Jerusalem are dogs sorcerers and whoremongers and all the like and you niggas just still going in it with your prideful wicked asses thinking that you're going to get some type of gain i'm gonna tell you what you're going to get and it ain't going to be no gain i can tell you that shit right now it's going to be everything you fear that's what it's going to be you're going to create it you so-called manifestors yeah we know how to manifest now we can create our own destiny yep you sure will and because you don't have light when you built it, you dumb fuck, it's going to fall and come a crumbling the fuck down. All of your houses that were built on sand, you think you can reject the cornerstone, but you can't. Y'all, I told y'all, y'all retarded as hell out here. Y'all will build a structure in the 3D and build it on a solid foundation because you're saying to each other, if we don't build it on that, it'll fall down, man. We have to build it like this according to code. Y'all so smart that y'all got that figured out, but you can't figure out you need to have your personal inside life built up on the same thing, a solid foundation of truth. 
So when you're running around here, you guys are out there calling yourselves by races that you're not. Well, that's not a solid foundation. That means your life is going to fall. You guys are calling yourselves by misnomers and bywords. That's just going to fall. Your countries that are built up on lies and borders that were put there by man and canals that were built and dams that were put in places that not supposed to be. That shit is built on sand and not truth. It's all going to fall. It's all going to fall. You're not the potter, bitches. I'm sick and tired of you prideful bastards, mamsers, thinking that you're running around here. You're God. You're not. And you're going to find out how quick you're not God. That plan is simple, nigga. Because we've decided over here where we stand. And that's all it ever took. Let's see. They were those who washed their garments and made them white in the blood of the lamb. So then we did the work. It don't say they almost did it. It don't say they thought about doing it and they failed. It don't say they wanted to do it, but they weren't strong enough to do it. That ain't what it say. It say they did it. And they completed it. And they stood upon that mount with Yahusha. You hear me? Holy Mount Zion. They stood there and there wasn't a whole lot of them and it ain't gotta be. When there ever had to be a lot of Israelites to defeat you wicked ass niggas? When? You better check our history, nigga. You better check our history where we slayed tens of thousands, it says. Yeah, y'all might have killed y'all thousands, but we have killed our tens of thousands. So what the fuck y'all can do with us? Huh? One of us shall send ten, a thousand of you to flight. Two of us shall send ten thousand of you to flight. And three of us going to send a hundred thousand of you to flight. So what you going to do with us? What can you do? If three can make a hundred thousand of you niggas run, what a hundred and forty four thousand going to do with you? Hmm? Because we decided and we accepted it. We said, no, 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 no. You got me fucked up if you think this is somewhere good to be. You got me fucked up if you think this is Yahusha's kingdom. You got me fucked up if you think Abba is pleased with what's going on down here. No, but I read his word and I stayed in it. And he rejuvenated me and I was encouraged in his word. Where it told me that, yeah, it came down here and they sought to change the image of God into a lie. And paint up the image of the heathen as themselves that they were God. And say, who is Higher than me. I'm the most high. Oh, yeah, I read that. And I read how they put my people down at the bottom, the righteous, and how they took them to court and took their goods and beat them down and enslaved them and murdered them from the righteous blood of Abel all the way to the righteous blood of Zechariah. And Abba is going to require it from all of you Edens. Plain and simple because the righteous didn't fight you back. They gave it up. They put their hands up and said, hey, I'm not trying to fight you. It's about brotherly love. It's about we should be loving each other. And it's hard to have brotherly love in this world. And that's why we were blessed. You read about the seven churches. You read about the church of Philadelphia. Philadelphia means brotherly love. And Abba said, if you love your neighbor as yourself, then you have fulfilled my commands. The church of brotherly love who still got brotherly love in their heart. He says, you got a little strength. And so I will keep you from the hour of temptation because you got a little strength. And you didn't deny my name that my name was I am. All these other niggas running around here trying to keep that power from you. I'm trying to give it to you today. And that's why y'all don't accept it. Because it's true. If I was lying to you, I'd have hundreds of thousands of followers, millions of followers following me saying, that's right, grandson, we believe you. But the grandson ain't never lied to you about nothing. Even who I am is in the scriptures and I've proven it to all of you. I've proven it to you. And I've stood on this truth from the beginning and I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change because I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it amongst hard circumstances that faith prevails. I'm going to prove among hard circumstances that hope prevails. And most definitely, I'm going to perform a great power in the end when I, when I prove that love prevails above all. Love does. Not hatred. Not murdering. Not slandering and deceiving and trying to hide my motives behind my back and trying to trick people and marrying and getting in marriage just to destroy this person's life and having children with people just to snatch the children and use them as pawns and destroy people's lives, murdering and killing children and hiding all kinds of uh, financial uh, wickedness that I've done against people and uh, all kinds. It's too much to say. The wickedness is overwhelming for the tongue. As you can see, I can't. Put enough words on my tongue to get out the wickedness that's going on down here. Just because of where you are. And if you knew where you were, then you would call for deliverance from it, not salvation in it. Salvation from it. To be saved is to be caught out of a situation into a new situation. If you're hanging on a cliff, you don't want to say, yeah, just hold my hand to keep me hanging off the cliff. 
No, you want to be pulled up to safety. Y'all want to stay down or hanging on that cliff. <laughs> but it's like y'all ain't read about the blessings to come. But I read them. I read about the new body fashioned like unto Christ's body. And I'm going to share this with the elect because y'all know what I'm talking about. Where they can't bind you. Walking through walls, that doors that are locked, you walk through them. You decide to be somewhere you think and you're there. You change yourself and disguise yourself in a circumstance where you can blend just like a chameleon to any circumstance that you're in. Y'all don't want that kind of power though. You don't want that type of li liberation to be free from the things that hold you down that keep you in that dense state. We want to be light because that's what's written. The light came into the world. When the light came on, they scattered like fucking roaches but that proves what they are. Did you scatter when the light came on? Then you're a fucking roach, bitch. So get the fuck on. Go run and hide, man. I hate roaches. Go, you fucking mice and rats. Get the fuck out of this house. We don't want you around here. No more. You fucking mosquitoes and blood-sucking ticks. Get the fuck out, bed bugs. All you nasty sons of bitches. Get out the house. Because you ain't allowed in my house. I tell you that right now. Because it's already written that the grandson going to build his temple. Y'all all read it in there, but y'all don't know what it means when it say the branch is going to build the temple. What's the temple? It's the body. It's the body. Casting out all of them. I did it in here. Took the whip and cast them out of the temple. I said, okay, Yahusha, I'm dead. You go ahead on and do it. He stepped right on in there and whipped their ass out of there and said, okay, now I'm the captain of this ship now. What y'all want to do? And when I saw him do that, I did that in the 3D. Plain and simple. When I saw Yahusha come inside of me and condemn every damn thing that was wicked and put it out of my body and then stand there like the king that he was and the alpha that he is and said, hey, anybody want anything to say about my rulership? Step up here now. With his whip in his hand dangling down. He says, step up here now if you think I ain't the king. Step up here. And when I saw him do that, I said, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to do it right now to prove it to you. Any of you niggas think you got something to say about what I'm telling you right now? You think it's a lie? Or you think that what I'm saying is wicked? Or you think it's evil? Or you think you got the answer? Then step your dumb ass up here so I can smash your ass with this fucking whip just like my daddy do. Come on. Step up here. You fucking cowards. You fucking murdering devils. Step on up here and see what happens to you. See, because you can't dwell in my peculiar light. See, I can go in the darkness and dwell in there with you, but can you dwell in my domain? Can you? Because when I snatch your ass and bring your ass up out of there and bring you into the light, nigga, watch your ass turn into fucking dust. Ain't that what it say? He shall devour them with the breath of his lips, just like dust. You can't stand the truth. And that's why I speak it with great conviction, because I know what it's doing to you devils, because I'm tired of y'all being around here. All of y'all tired of it, that's righteous. So then y'all should be happy I'm speaking like this. Don't get offended at me. Don't get offended no more at what I'm saying to you. Oh, the way he talking. Oh, he's so harsh. And oh, he's so this. And oh, he's so that. Yeah, just like I'm telling you about my daddy whipping them niggas with that fucking belt. You want to call it in today's word. Uh, that whip that he was beating them with. Y'all, I'm too fired up to talk right now. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. See the one, it's that I love. He ain't got much time left, as you can see. And if you ain't a warrior right now with your spiritual armor on, if you can't tell me what you got on your body right now, like, let's, let's see, let's see what you got on your head right now. You better have on that helmet of salvation, because if you don't, then you ain't got the right shit on your head. If you got some weave on your head, take that shit off. If you got some bullshit on your head, a fucking New York Knicks hat, take that bitch off your fucking head. Stop being a fucking coon today and put your helmet of salvation on your shit. You got a stupid ass Balenciaga shirt, take that shit off. You got that fucking ball main logo on your fucking shirt. Take that shit off and put the breastplate of righteousness on your shit right now before you die today. You got that Rolex on your arm. Snatch that bitch off and put that shield of faith on back on your arm again. Put the right jewelry on. You got that fucking 3D AK-47 in your fucking hand. That fucking Draco, you think you the shit. You need to drop that shit and put the word of God in your hand. You got on them fucking Jordans you spun all that fucking money for and waited at 6 o'clock in the morning in the wintertime for them. You need to take that shit off and shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel. Y'all niggas sagging y'all pants because y'all ain't got on the belt of truth. Because you reject the truth today. And you mad because I'm standing upright. 
I don't give a damn if I provoke you niggas to jealousy because y'all provoked me to jealousy, just like the scripture says. Nigga, I know what the scripture says, so I ain't mad to speak it. Y'all be like, oh, no, you're not supposed to hate. You're not supposed to hate. Well, how come when I read in Psalms right there, it says, I hate all the enemies of youth, my father. I hate them with a perfect hatred. Be ye perfect as your father in heaven is perfect because he hate Esau, he say. So who am I to be different than my Abba, man? Y'all better get hit with this shit. Silawana, Sarah.